Hey y'all, it's Sherry here with Scrapping with Sherry. And I made this layout last night using the paper and embellishments from the Homebody Paper Pack. And that is an advisor exclusive, so you need to contact an advisor to get this paper pack. But after I made it and I used the Ancient Key Border Maker cartridge, which is our newest cartridge, I wanted to add the embellishments to it. And one thing I hear from my friends more than anything else is, I don't know how to use embellishments. I don't know how to make them look good. Well, I think a lot of it comes with trial and error. A lot of it is just trying it out to see what you like and what looks good. But the biggest lesson that I have learned from some of the great page designers and creative memories is that our embellishments need to be clustered. You don't want embellishments flying all over the page. A lot of times, especially um, when we first got started, we would just throw embellishments here, there, and everywhere. We'd have things all around the outside of the pages. We would be sure we used up a sticker sheet by using every single little sticker on that sheet. And one thing that I have come to discover from my own personal taste is I like clustering these embellishments. I like putting them together to make cohesive, organized areas on my page. And then the embellishments don't take away from the photos at all. They just really enhance the photos. Now, these embellishments are um, available for advisors with the Homebody Collection. And this is actually the insert sheet that comes in the embellishment pack. And I, I wanted to use that because I thought it was pretty. I like the addition of the brown to the page. So these words were independent, but I decided I wanted to use them together as happy family. Anytime I have all my kids together, we are a happy family. So I wanted to make sure that I used those together. And there were several other embellishments in the pack that I liked. And I pulled out specifically the little books, the pillow. There's a little picture, like a wall hanging of a plant, a lamp. And I started laying those out to see what I liked. I just feel like, you know, if you got a pillow and a good book, life is good. But I also decided, well, it might be nice to have a lamp in there. And, you know, if we were at our house, there would probably be pictures on the wall somewhere near some of this grouping. And I did this initially, and I like that okay, but I felt like there was a lot of busyness going on down here. So I used the Creative Memory Circle Punch. This is one of our newer punches that just came out in the fall. It just makes a quick, standalone, easy punch. It's easy to use, and it makes this beautiful little circle. So I kind of felt like, hey, let's cover up some of the busyness of the paper down below. And let's put those embellishments on the circle to kind of help draw our eye to this cluster in the corner without so much paper busyness. Now, I kind of like the look of that. Some of you won't, and that's okay. If you wanted to add another circle, you could do that as well. Might be too much. I like the one, I think. But that's only part of the, the situation here with embellishments. Once you get the embellishments laid out in a way that you like them, you have to decide how you're going to put them down. Now, obviously to me, this will go straight on my page. It's really big. Um, I don't want it to be popped up or, or create a lot of bulk on my page. But this happy family, I would like for that to stand out a little bit. So that's where I use my foam squares. Now the foam squares come in a package with two different sizes. There's a larger size and a smaller. And for something like this, it's really easy to use a couple of the large size, maybe one smaller one on the end, but you don't have to foam square every little piece of this. Now I do go through a ton of foam squares because I use them on probably every single page, but you don't have to use a lot on embellishments strictly because there's nothing sticky here. So when you stick it down, this part is not going to adhere. Now I also use foam squares on my stickers and on them, I have to be a little more careful with placement because I don't want things sticking down in the wrong places. But it still works. And it gives it just a little bit of pop. It almost creates a shadowing look behind it, which I really, really like. The same thing on family. I'm going to use a big one here, a big one here. And that's all I need on that. So I've got two foam squares, one on each end. 
and you just take the tabs off the back of those and those are ready to stick. Now I line those up on this insert sheet and what I'm really trying to keep showing is just the little lines across the top, the little border design across the top and the border design across the bottom. The side area doesn't really matter to me because that's going to be it for that corner border. And I'm just going to adhere that using my tape runner directly on that page. <clears throat> now for these down here on the bottom, it's a little bit differently. You see how I've got them stacked on top of each other. So we need to kind of slide them off and work with our bottom layers first. So the first thing I'll do is use this tape and I'm using repositionable on this. It comes in a green cartridge. The repositionable is, is great because it comes off in little bitty dotted segments and that's really hard to see but they're little bitty segments and it is exactly what the name implies it's repositionable if you get it down and you don't really like where you put it you can move it around so the two bottom things that i had on the bottom of the layer i'm putting down with my repositionable tape now we wanted to add a picture in here we've also got our books and see already i'm thinking i want to move this circle over a little more and because I use the repositionable tape, it moves easily without tearing up my page. All right, I think I want to do something like that. So I've got the pillow stuck down. And you notice as I'm adding these on here, I'm making sure that everything touches. I don't have random designs flying all over the page. I'm kind of doing it as a grouping like you would if you're decorating your house. So I'm going to go ahead and add this picture again using the repositionable tape because it's part of the background area. It's um, still something that's going directly on the page with not layering on top of it. Now when I go back to add the lamp and the books, I want to use the foam squares for that. And in doing that, going back to the big ones again because we've got a large area right here. In adding the foam squares to that, it creates some dimension to this cluster I've got over here. I know the buzzwords um, with embellishments are clustering and dimension and things like that. Um, I don't necessarily know a lot about the art practices. I was a kindergarten teacher in my former life, but I do know what I like the look of. And to me, when you have a little bit, bit of dimension with the foam squares, it just kind of makes everything else even out. So I'm going to add my books. I'm going to have my books overlap my lamp just a little bit. All right, so we've got the books, we've got the picture in the background, we've got the nice pillow, and we have a little clustering of embellishments right there. Again, these papers and embellishments are from the Homebody paper pack. These are not available for regular purchase, but contact an advisor. Advisors should be able to get these for you and um, I think you'll enjoy them. The colors are nice. There are six sheets in a pack to this, so it's a smaller package, but um, I think with the embellishments and the colors in the paper and adding a little bit of cardstock here and there with border makers, border maker cartridges, you can do something really pretty. I hope you enjoy this layout, and until I see you next time, happy scrapping. Mm -hmm.